in the recent survey, you told me royal blue was your favorite color for candy apples. In this candy apple tutorial, I will show you how to make royal blue candy apples fit for a queen. The colors that I use for my royal blue candy apples are Wilton's White Icing, Hobby Lobby's Royal Blue Gel Food Coloring, and Hobby Lobby's Purple Gel Food Coloring. In this royal blue candy apple recipe, I use Fit for a Queen candy apple recipe 641. That's six cups of sugar, four cups of water, and one cup of corn syrup. This is my favorite go-to candy apple recipe, especially for my royal blue candy apples here, since I am dipping 12 candy apples. I like my candy apple mixture to look like that. We're going to add some white. Don't worry about the extra white food coloring that you see at the top of the candy apple pot. I will be getting a paper towel to wipe that. You can also do this when you have like extra sugar or something sitting at the top of your candy apple pot. Add you some royal blue. I can pretty much just leave it alone right here, but I need that royal blue, honey. That royal blue for the queen, honey. Hobby Lobby's Royal Blue is pretty much that deal. Remember, I am making these fit for a queen, so I just added some more purple because I need these to be a little more royal. This is how you get a really, really good royal blue color fit for a queen, honey. Fit for a queen. Fit for a queen, honey. Okay, we're gonna let this cook. Okay, we're gonna let this cook until it reaches 300 degrees. Once your candy apple mixture is on the stove cooking, do not stir this royal blue candy apple mixture. Babe, baby, baby. Honey, let me add my flavoring, one and a half teaspoons of butter vanilla because honey, I surely forgot to add it at the beginning and at 280 degrees. This is why I add mine at the beginning so what's for me is for me different strokes for different folks honey tilt your pot and dip all 12 candy apples if you have 24 that's even better because one thing about this 641 candy apple recipe honey it will work for 12 to 24 candy apples this royal blue baby it's for queen i'm telling you this is for a queen <laughs> okay what number what number what candy apple number is this Mm, you just scrape that candy apple on the side of the pot and place it down on your parchment paper or silicone mat. Royal blue candy apple number four. Royal blue candy apple number four. Please come to the front. Please come to the front. Your party is waiting. <laughs> Royal blue candy apple number five. Number five. Now number six. Six. See, y'all be on me about my country accent. Comment down below if you think I'm country, 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 or not country at all. So three options, not country at all, country, or country, country. Please comment down below and let me know. This royal blue candy apple mixture, it's fit for a queen. Here I am on my eighth apple, my eighth candy apple, and this royal blue candy apple mixture is still flowing, still flowing. Some people have issues with their candy apple mixture being too thick because they put too much gel food coloring in their candy apple mixture. And especially with darker colors because you're trying to achieve that color. So be careful, make sure you don't put no more than a teaspoon of coloring in your candy apple mixture. This is the 10th Royal Blue Candy Apple. I'm using the 641 Candy Apple recipe and this candy apple mixture is still flowing. This is the 11th candy apple. I still have a lot of candy apple mixture left over to dip 12 more candy apples. 
that royal blue, baby. That's that royal blue. What you know about that royal? Royal. So loyal. That's that royal blue. 12th candy apple. We got all that candy we got still left, boo. If you have enjoyed this royal blue candy apple tutorial, fit for a queen, make sure you stay tuned to watch my next videos coming up right here on Candy Apple TV. I'll see you in a few seconds over in my next video.